Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing another Amonkhet Intermediate Swiss Draft League. So we've got Curator of Mysteries, which I like. We've got Cast Out, which I like a lot. Stir the Sands. I mean, this is removal, so it's definitely good, but Curator is a pretty good, uh, pretty efficient dude. Four mana, four, four. Four is kind of the magic number. Cycles. It's got a relevant ability when you cycle. Might actually be better than cast out. I'm not sure. Not exactly sure. I, my heart is kind of telling me curator. My head is still sort of saying curator. It's definitely between curator and cast out. I think we'll go curator. All right. Follow-up pick. Well, we can take the Slither Blade, start going down that path, but the best card in the pack is probably Compulsory Rest. Calling Serpo Pard is okay, but let's take the rest. Sort of makes sense. It's a good removal spell. Alright. So, best card in here. I mean, we have Vizier, which kind of ramps and works well with exert it also cycles with sacred cat which is okay I like the cat floodwaters I think we can take vizier and probably feel okay about it it's not as good as I as I liked it in the beginning of the format it tends to be a little bit clunky for what you get but it might just be the pick I'm not sure like I said I do like cat could go, if you're going to do blue-white, I don't recommend the mid-range um, deck so much. Good with Exert. I still kind of think Cat might be the right pick. Can never really have enough Cats. Cartouche is pretty good, too. I think we're going Cat. Vizier is, I don't know, it's okay. So now there's an Initiate. Which is fine. There's a those who serve. Probably just take the initiate, I guess. Might actually be a those who serve. Uh, they're not great. Neither is initiate. But I'll take initiate, I guess. Alright, fan bear is quite good. There's also a top crop elite though, which is really good too. Might actually just take the Elite. This is good with Embalm. Which of this is the right color plan for Anointed Procession. So we could take it and try it. It's a pretty do-nothing card though, unless you have a pretty deep Embalm plan. And Takrop Elite is just very good. I know it's good, it wins games. I don't have to build around it like press processions. Alright, I'm gonna take the Elite over the fan bear. And the other thing. Alright, Home Kopesh, another Vizier, Cartouche, Cancel. All of these are fine. Probably take the Cartouche. Works well with the Trials and gives Flying, which is good. Alright, Commit to Memory is actually pretty decent. But there's also Winds of Rebuke, River Serpent. Winds of Rebuke is good in the Embalm deck as well. This is a rare, but it is a four drop. The memory is okay. You're behind on, you know, cards in hand. But the problem is your opponent gets to draw seven too. So you're never really like owning them. They're still getting seven cards. And they kind of get first access to it, you know, because you're paying six mana and doing it. And then they get seven cards to work with. I don't know. I'm not really sold on commit to memory. I think I played it early on, but I'd probably rather just have like a Winds of Rebuke. Lay claim is fine. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's fine here. It's pretty expensive. I don't really like it, but it's probably more exciting. I guess Anoint Your Priest is at its best in a deck like this, but I never really cared for the card, and Watchers of the Dead is just playable. I guess we'll take Lay Claim. Um, hmm. I guess we'll take the Cradle. I don't really, I'm not really excited by any of these. Getting the Slither Blade black, black is actually a good sign. The Slither Blade back. Say Slither Blade back five times fast. 
All right, flood waters. We'll take it. So deck has a plan, and that plan is presumably blue white. Although we have a ton of blue and not that much white, so it might just be blue something else. We'll figure that out. The three white cards we have are good, though. I do like them. Skirmisher, totally playable. Take a full art land here. That was a rare, though, which is kind of funny, but it's all right. All right. Very good. Down to the Luxa. What do we got? Something here? Starting off with a cat, probably. Nothing else really on color that's good for us. Watchers of the Dead. I mean, I like cat. I really don't like first picking cat. I will tell you that. All right. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to play white, I guess. I could take, like, a Amberhorn Minotaur or something. But I'll take the cat. We'll go cat. Hmm. Plague Belcher, Lord of the Accursed. Pretty good. There's Hieroglyphic uh, Illumination. We have Spearmaster. Plague Belcher is definitely the best card, but I don't know. The four white cards I have are good, and the Slither Blade deck is kind of a blue-white thing. I guess it could be blue-black, too. I like Plague Belcher. I can't stress that enough. But I might just take, like, the Spearmaster. It's a good beater in white. And it kind of fills our deck well. I guess Plague Belcher would, too. But am I willing to just straight dump the white plan? Uh, not especially. You know, I actually do like our four white cards quite a bit. I'm going to take the Spearmaster. Totally playable. Fan bear here over Naga Oracle. Closer than you might think. I've really come around on Naga Oracle. Really just a great way to combat Flood and put some embalmed creatures in your graveyard. But Fan bear is just really, really good. Really like Fan bear. Good black cards in here. Grave Digger. Wasteland Scorpion is pretty good. So Cropmate is looking good here because we have quite a few creatures to bring back. I guess just five so far, but we can find some more. And we're not giving up much, just like a Cartouche of Solidarity or whatever. So seems fine. Cancel. Sparring Mummy is good with Exert. Maybe I just take the Prepare. Plus two, plus two, and Lifelink, even if you can't play the fight, is perfectly acceptable. So we'll take it. We're actually removal light too, aren't we? We have a lay claim, a floodwaters, a winds of rebuke, a fan bearer. Well, it's all decent removal, but prepare is a legitimately good combat trick, even if you can't jam the uh, fight part, like I said. So there's Labyrinth Guardian. Trial of Knowledge is some good card advantage. We do have a Cartouche of Knowledge now, so draw three discards, not bad. There's a Vizier of Remedies, good against Splendid Agony. We have Seeker of Insight. And those are all I'm considering. So Labyrinth Guardian is good because it's just a 2-drop, two 2-3. Two, um, we have probably 7 to 8 slots, depending if we want to do 17 lands or 16 lands. I usually do 16. There's an Evolving Wilds, I guess, to splash the fight. But it's really it's Trial of Knowledge versus Labyrinth Guardian. And I don't know if I need the Trial. The Trial's not bad. I've been fairly unimpressed with it, or impressed with it, but I think we'll take the Labyrinth Guardian. Just like this card. Okay, so Hecma Sentinels, I guess. It's a late hooded brawler. I don't really want to play Hecma Sentinels, though, is kind of the thing. Take the Painted Bluffs, I guess it lets us play Fight too. Comes at a bit of a cost, but there's nothing else here. I don't really need Sacred Excavation. I guess it does bring back our Curator, but that's all right. Zenith Seeker's pretty whatever, so we'll take the Watchers, which are also kind of whatever, to be honest. Uh, I guess we'll take Zenith Seeker now, but pretty unlikely I'd play it. So, not a bad pack, too. Picked up a few more decent white cards. Fan Bear, Cropmate, Spearmaster, to prepare to fight. So I think we're in a fine direction here, actually. It's just... I would like some more Slither Blades and maybe some Honed Kopeshes, and then I at least have, like, a pretty reasonable game plan I can get behind. But this deck is fine. We have plenty of uh, Embalm, 
which I guess would have made the, ooh, getting the Oracle back is actually a really big gift. I really like Oracle a lot. But like I was saying, the anointed procession, I could have gone down that path. I'm sure there's some people that would have wanted me to, but I'm just, ugh, I don't know. I don't really like it. I think my Embalm kind of does enough. Why do I need to play a four drop that kind of like doubles it? I'll take the cancel over the scribe. I think it's pretty unlikely we would want the scribe anyway. Second last pick seeker is certainly fine. Yeah, we're probably not gonna jam the crab. Alright, so this is close to a deck already, and all these are certainly playable. Our weakest card is maybe the cancel. We only have seven things that trigger seeker, so seeker's not great, but certainly still fine. Bantu? Jeez. And a Blood Rage Brawler? Oh boy. So, probably just want the impeccable timing, I guess. It's removal. Taking it over Forsake. Could splash the Bantu with Painted Bluffs. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Let's just take the impeccable timing. Okay, so we have Open Into Wonder, which is a good way to, like, in the game, I guess, but I'm kind of looking at another Naga Oracle. I'm thinking I like it more than Spearmaster, I think, and Priest. Naga Oracle's just good, especially in an Embalm deck. So there's Trial of Knowledge, another Cat, another Impeccable Timing, Illusory Wrappings, Pull from Tomorrow. Plenty of cards to choose from here. Wonder if I'm supposed to just take the Pull from Tomorrow. And then maybe just run a 17 land deck with double Naga Oracle and pull from tomorrow. It's not a bad idea. It's also Trial of Knowledge. We only have the one Cartouche. And then I could take the Impeccable Timing because it kills things. Or the Cat because it's cheap. Probably take the pull from tomorrow, get some card advantage, run a 17 land deck, cut the cancel probably. Something like this. Uh, so now we can take a cat. There's another Winds of Rebuke and an Evolving Wilds. So Evolving Wilds is kind of free. It just gets to make the deck. Winds of Rebuke feeds the Embalm Plan and Sacred Cat is just a nice cheap dude. We don't have a ton of buff effects. We don't really have any buff effects. So I may just want something like Evolving Wilds. Help the mana base. Am I splashing for fight? I'm not sure. I'm not really feeling it, but I could. So we have a Seeker. I guess I do kind of want to cut the first Seeker, honestly. Uh, Heaven and Earth, a little far away, away from that. I think, uh, I think we'll just take the Seeker. I don't really want to play him, though. Ooh, that's a late Gus Walker. That's surprising. All right. I guess we can cut Seeker. Compulsory Rest, dude, that's pretty late. All right, interesting. Cut the other Seeker. And uh, I guess if I want to run, well, we can cut Watchers. It's pretty whatever anyway. So we'll cut that and then run the Compulsory Rest. Getting another Slither Blade is nice. They're unblockable, so it's kind of nice to have. I wish we had like a buff effect other than a Cartouche, but I don't really like Anoint Your Priest even in an Embalm deck. It's it's only okay. I guess we'll take the Slither Blade. I'm not sure what we're cutting for it yet. So Seeker, another Evolving Wilds or Forsake the World. They probably want Forsake. Double Evolving Wilds starts to get a little bit unnecessary, I think. Uh, Forsake's a nice sideboard card to have anyway. All right, we can take the Priest. We can take the Spearmaster. We can take open into wonder, I guess. I don't know. I don't particularly want to play it, but it's, I guess, good to have in certain matches. Illusory Wrappings Trial of Knowledge. So we have one cartouche for that, but we already have some card advantage, double Nag Oracle pull from tomorrow, so I guess I'll take Illusory Wrappings. Maybe we can cut the Floodwaters. Card's pretty mediocre anyway. Uh, 
Another Winds of Rebuke or the cat. Let's take the cat. I like the cat a lot. So, yeah, fairly successful deck. No home co peshes, but I feel like we have a good late game plan. We're staying busy. This deck has some some coherence to it, so we probably probably could get away with 16 land still. Yeah, we probably do that. So I have to make one more cut. Ooh, another skirmisher. Yeah, okay. So I have to make two cuts if I want to run 16 lands? That's fine. So, what are those cuts going to be? I'm not sure yet. We'll have to take a look at what removal we have. I think we have quite a bit, actually. And then maybe figure it out from there. We can afford to cut two creatures if I want. Not sure which ones I want to cut though. Am I splashing for fight? I guess I could. I'm not super color intensive. I have a couple blue spells. A couple double color blue spells, I should say. But, no, I mean, no, this is all fine, honestly. I don't have a problem with any one card in this deck. I guess the Slither Blade plan is a little bit less sexy when you don't have Hone Kopesh, but they're still fine. They beat down. Yeah, I don't know. I have to make two cuts, though. Might be an Illusory Wrappings and, like, uh, Winds of Rebuke, because I'm still left with it. Maybe it's... Uh, Maybe I like the wins more because we actually, like I said, have quite a bit of embalm. We have three, four, five, six, um, seven. Seven embalm. Eh, it's a decent amount. Maybe I want impeccable timing instead. So we'll cut. Or I could cut the impeccable timing in the wins and then run the illusory wrappings because we have one, two, three. I'm counting evasive creatures. Four, five, six evas evasive creatures. It's not bad. Not bad. Winds of Rebuke is pretty good against uh, Cartouches, though, which are fairly highly played. Yeah, I don't know. My initial... I, I feel like my gut instinct was to cut these two. The timing and the illusory wrappings. And that still leaves, leaves me with double compulsory rest, lay claim, prepare to fight, Winds of Rebuke, and then pull from tomorrow as some nice card advantage in the late game. Um... I can get behind this. I can get behind this. This deck is kind of mediocre, though. It's not great. It's not bad. Could I make one more cut and then run, like, Evolving Wilds and do the Prepare to Fight? I just feel like it's unnecessary. Like, this looks fine to me. There's a few 4-drops, but we're pretty 1- and 2-drop heavy. I guess we do have late claim, but you can always cycle it in a pinch. It's a good top deck in the late game. Steal something that's killing you. I don't know. I'm kind of behind this deck. It looks good. There's a lot of one drops and two drops. And we get to run Evolving Wilds. And then probably do nine blue, seven white. I don't know. We need white. We need white and blue turn one. I probably just do seven, seven. Wait. Does that make sense? Bring this up. Bring it. Wait. 14, 15. Oh. There's a forest in there. Get out of here. So this is 9-8. Yeah, 9-8 is good. Okay. All right. So blue-white, what kind of deck is it? It's not really a Skies deck. It's like, uh, I don't know, a little bit of card advantage, some decent removal, some evasion, some embalm. It looks okay to me. doesn't look like a 3-0 deck to me, but it looks like fun. So we'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. I actually went back and added a forest since I have the Evolving Wild so that I can splash the fight, but the problem is I don't really have good bodies to fight with. I have some Embalm guys, like the Skirmishers. And it's, I have the Oracles and a Curator, basically, so I'm not even sure if this splash is worth it, but my mana isn't that bad, so I guess I'll try it. Who knows? Maybe it'll come up and save me the match or something. So, all right, we'll run it like this, and we'll see you run one. 